So we take that out. Right. Destroying the machinery lowers the magma and reopens the tunnel. And how do you plan on getting there? The barge at Marathon Station still works. Darius can take it Operating to the Operating the barge requires two people. Hell, you shoot, I'll pilot. Roger that. Red Faction Armageddon received a wide variety of ratings, both negative and positive. I'm going to show you that this game is far from bad. It only lacks the potential that people saw as a definite follow-up of Guerrilla. So let's see how it still manages to be enjoyable. Red Faction Armageddon offers story-based gameplay and not the sandbox type as Guerrilla did. So you won't be running around accepting side quests on Mars, especially since the majority of the game time you spend is going to be underground. Now the game is pretty much linear, but that is not necessarily a problem. Here you don't have to think about where to go and what to do, rather the game gives you the path and you just got to enjoy playing Victory. it. Victory. You my specialist, Darius Mason, third engineers. Mason. Should have figured you'd volunteer for this one. This time, the main target will be fighting off hordes of aliens. The animations and the modeling of the creatures are excellent. They are very detailed, even from afar. Imagine when they get close. At the end, it will get especially hard with all of them either charging at you or shooting from the cave walls. I played it on hardcore and it was definitely challenging. Also, I think it was a good choice to break from the previous game and not to make you fight humans again all the time. In addition, the game has a kind of survival feel to it. You constantly try to survive with sometimes endless waves of aliens coming at you. In the caves, this gets really fun and the game gives you enough ammo to cause some crazy havoc. Probably the biggest reason why I personally loved the game was the destruction. Very close to real life, collapsing buildings and blowing stuff up really makes even the worst parts of the game fun. On top of this, you get the very nice sound and visual effects that accompany the destruction. So you only got to take a look at the footage and you see what I'm talking about. Only once did Geoma 2 cause some framerate problems out of thousands of collapses and explosions. So it's pretty spectacular that the game runs this smoothly. You will not be able to destroy as much as in Gorilla though, because simply there are less buildings and stuff. Now the weapons and gadgets in the game really heighten the gaming experience. You can rebuild stuff that you destroyed, which is quite life saving at times when you destroyed everything around you and try to move on. You also got nanoforge abilities like shockwave, shell or a simple impact. The game is giving you more and more ways to approach a certain situation and to basically kill enemies in different ways. So many prayers. An Ultor survey pod. They were here. Darius, the Ultor scientist, knew about the bugs years ago. We have to get to the Marauder archives. You hear that? Darius? Also, you get several types of machines to jump into. These parts of the game usually involve you killing hundreds of aliens and it has been quite nicely done, so I definitely enjoyed being a bit more powerful than Darius. The story of the game is not breathtaking, but I wouldn't call it boring either. The more you're into Red Faction, the more you understand about it. And some parts of it were really interesting, and so I wanted to get more and more of it. The 70 hours of data. The unit is damaged. Data recovery will be difficult and time consuming. But not impossible. Already processing. Shall we? Apart from single player, you get the ruin mode, which you can play on different maps, outside as well, and basically you just destroy as much as you can. Also, you get the infestation mode, which you can play online, up to 4 players trying to survive the waves of enemies. And finally, I was really pleased with the cutscenes of the game. Very well done, recognizable faces, the whole environment nicely modeled. But obviously, no game is perfect and Armageddon does well in this story based gameplay. It's good, but it could have done way better, both if it had been a sandbox game and also if additional content would have been in it. To be honest, there is way more potential with Geomod and the universe of Red Faction. Oh. 
In conclusion, Armageddon offers a very nice campaign of around 8 to 10 hours, variety of gameplay, tons of explosions and areas to destroy. I personally really enjoyed playing it because frankly this is not an everyday shooter. But to help you decide more on the game, see for yourself my 10 minutes of uncut gameplay that I uploaded with this video review. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. There has been some difficulty. Play what you got. KPEC discovered. Locked away. Nightmares. Altor's records contain every detail. Hail is too close. That's it? Full decryption will take approximately 236 hours. Can't